In today's video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite under center passing concepts in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's YouTube video. Now, if you're brand new to the YouTube channel, I post Madden 21 tips and tricks every single day to help you get better on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball. I upload new videos to YouTube at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time every single day and also live stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time every single night on my YouTube channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, it's completely free to do so and research shows that only 40% of the people that watch my videos are subscribed. So I want to ask you right now to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And we have a really, really exciting stream plan for you tonight. We're going to be casting um, our AFC championship game um, in our online ps4 cfm playoffs and the winner of our ps4 cfm this season uh, our super bowl champion will be able to get a hundred dollars cash prize so if you're interested in competing in next year's uh, cfm for uh for our ps4 which is going to start up here in a few days or in our xbox one cfm go ahead and shoot me a text message my number is in the description as well in the top left hand corner of your screen okay guys so i wanted to talk to you a little bit today about this play that I really enjoy at a near close flex um, now this is in the West Coast playbook now you guys know that I've been labbing and kind of been working on the West Coast playbook the last couple of days uh, really intensively actually trying to see if this is uh, potentially a offense that can be ran in competitive games uh, for money and different things like that and I actually think it can um, I, I went uh, undefeated in weekend league when I was using this scheme uh, against pretty good level competition so I really really think that this could be something um, special obviously you're gonna have to deal with some user rushes and things like that I will have videos out that are going to show you how to stop that um, but in my text message membership this week I'm talking about the far tight slot this formation is a nice little um, secondary formation to it because of this play right here. It's the smash play from the near close flex. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have uh, Chris Godwin if you're using the Bucks, which I recommend the Bucks to run this with in regs uh, because you have Hot Route Master. I think this scheme becomes a lot better uh, when you have a Hot Route Master quarterback. Uh, that's just been my experience with it. But uh, we're going to put Chris Godwin right there. And basically what you're going to notice is this is kind of a play that I like to go to. Um, really, if the, it, it really doesn't matter what they're running. Um, this play is going to be very effective for you. But specifically against man coverage, you're going to find that this is a really, really good scheme. Now, I recommend running this formation um, with the twin receivers to the wide side of the field. If you can keep them on the wide side of the field, it's definitely going to help with the overall progression of this play uh, and kind of everything that you can do off of the near close flex. Now, really quickly, uh, what you're going to see here is I'm going to shift to man-to-man -man coverage. And what we're going to do is we're just going to run kind of the meta man-to-man -man coverage that you see a lot online, uh, which is like a basically like a cover four. I could definitely see something like this um, against this offense because this offense is predicated on the crossing routes over the slot receivers, of course, if you have hot route master, um, and also the corner route. So I can see them playing kind of like a cover one with a purple on that side of the field. But what I want to show you is all you're going to do with this route to Godwin is you're simply going to smart route this route. And then from there, you're going to take Mike Evans and just put him on a little streak route. I like to block my running back. And then basically the running back on the, or I'm sorry, my fullback, I like to block my fullback. And then if you're going to shift your defensive line to wherever the defense shifts their line. So like if you're facing three through five wide and they shift their line to the right, I'm going to shift my line to the right as well. Okay. So that's going to help you a little bit with your pass protection. But what you're going to do is basically just read this is a very simple flood concept. But what you'll see is against man to man coverage, he's going to get an instant separation against that man-to-man -man coverage. As you can see there, he's going to end up getting that one play touchdown against a lot of man-to-man -man defenses, especially with the way that people do this. Now, you'll get an instant win animation, especially if it's press man. So you'll see here, like if he's if, he, if he's running like press man, you'll see that not only does this win against man, it's actually going to win against zone, but I want to show you press coverage real quick as well. And I really like to go to this play, you know, when they're dialing up the pressure at me, when they're bringing the heat, um, I find this play works really, really, really well against a lot of what people are going to want to do uh, from a blitzing perspective, especially with that slide protection. But as, you, as you'll as you see right here, 
the other thing that you'll notice on this play is let's say that they are going to run some press man on you. They're going to try to get up in your face. They're going to try to play some really heavy uh, blitzing style defenses. This route right here, this little quick throw is so good. I cannot tell you how many times like I've been facing with, with like user rushes or things like that where I'll call this. And the beauty of this, because it's a, it's a stock hitch route, meaning the route is um, automatically on the play because it's in the it's in the play you can't create it right um, but you do have it like stock and what you'll see here as I accidentally hit the wrong button is when you throw this route to your tight end even if they're press even if you're facing like press man-to-man -man coverage this route to Gronkowski is going to be good for you you're gonna be able to snap throw it really really quickly right when he turns around with an inside pass lead you'll see that this is gonna be able to beat uh, pretty much any man-to-man -man style coverage that you're going to face. And so the beauty of that is oftentimes they're not going to use her that side of the field. They're really going to typically be using the right side of the field uh, in this formation. So you see this little pop pass right there, a little quick five-yard yard gainer for your offense. I really like that route. I think it's one of the most underrated routes um, in the entire game. But the other thing that I want to show you is this route to Chris Godwin. So let's say that he gets pressed, right? Um, now press will sometimes, if you're playing mutt, and you have a receiver that has over 90 deep route running, it's going to help this route tremendously. Um, sometimes because Chris Godwin's route running is not like top of the line, it will not always work, but you still have your smash your, or your little hitch route on the right, and you also still have this little swing pass to the back, which I think is one of the best quick passes. Like if you're facing man coverage in this formation, you'll see that this little quick pass right here is really, really tough. As you can see, it's very difficult for their user to get out on the field um, to be able to guard that. What they're going to basically have to do is they're going to have to take this linebacker on the right side of the field, and they're going to have to man him up. And what I'll show you really quickly with that is what this is going to cause is it should cause a little bit of a man switch, a little bit of a man congestion. As you see right there, if that linebacker gets manned up on him, it's going to man switch every time. So if they run man-to-man -man coverage, you actually have a pretty decent chance at hitting that quick route um, to the running back as well. But the next thing that you can do with this, and uh, my preferred way to run this, uh, is to take Evans. You can leave him on this smash art if you wanted to. Um, but basically what you'll see is he's going to get a natural pick and a natural rub on this receiver. Now, what you don't want to do is you don't want to like lob it if there's a safety at the top. I was kind of anticipating there not being a safety. If the safety rolls... Um, Whoops. If the safety rolls like underneath or to the middle of the field, right? Uh, whoops, let me get this fixed here. So you'll see right here, the safety is going to roll to the middle of the field. Okay. So I'm just going to run this play as is right here. You don't even need to streak Evans. And what you'll notice is you'll get a natural switch. And you can pass lead that up and beat man for a one play touchdown if there's no safety on that side of the field. Now, if there's a safety on that side of the field, so if they're playing just like stock two men under, then the same thing is going to be true. The only thing is, instead of throwing it up, you're going to throw it out. So hard outside pass lead. Now, the hard outside pass lead, from my experience, um, does work. Again, it comes back to that route running threshold. If you can have 90 route running, it's going to help you quite a bit uh, when you're running this. Now, the beauty of this play is not only how it works against man, but how it works against the zone is truly the blessing um, of this play. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to smart route Chris Godwin, we're going to streak Mike Evans, block this fullback, and slide to the right side. Now really quick before I show you this route against zone, I want to highlight my text message membership. It's something that's completely free for you guys to sign up for. Literally all you have to do is text me. My phone number is 812-216-3644. So just shoot me a text message and let me know you'd like to receive my weekly tips. I release tips every single week. Um, on these uh, videos. Now, these are a little bit higher level, a little bit more in depth, and they're full scheme videos. So, for example, um, I broke down the gun bunch from Carolina in one of the text message members, and it was a one hour video on that. Or I broke down the gun why off trips pats uh, offensive scheme, and that was a video that was over an hour long. So, these are longer videos that are really designed to give you full schemes. And really show you everything you need to know we do defense as well we work down the big nickel over g defense as well as several other defenses as well so if you want to get access to that free content um, just shoot me a text message i'll shoot you the playlist that has all of the videos 
um, that we've done in the past, and we also add to that every single week. This week we're going to put the far tight slot from the West Coast playbook in there. Okay, so you'll see against zone coverage, what you'll notice is that this just gets super open against zone coverage. Now, really quick, I'm going to jump into uh, the coaching adjustments and show you different zone drops that you might play against um, depending on what the defense is going to be doing. So I'm going to put these flats at default, and I'm going to put these hooks at 10, or uh, I'm sorry, at default as well. And what I just wanted to show you was when you run this near close uh, smash play, you'll have a lot of success with this smash play. And the reason why you'll have so much success with it is because this flat zone, like let's say they're double flatting, right? And they have they have that uh, little double flat from a, from a cover two perspective. The cloud flats will not get back far enough on this. And it's gonna be an easy dot, especially to the wide side of the field. It's a very similar route to the route from the gun bunch. I think this actually works a little bit better simply because of the angle that it takes is a little sharper and because of the fact that it's a little bit of a more compressed formation um, and, and, and honestly works really, really well. So you'll see that I can simply smart route this. Now, the question that I get a lot of times is, you know, do you need a pool route? Do you have to put Mike Evans on a streak, right? Because if you don't have to put Mike Evans on a streak, I think that actually helps this because um, then I can work you know really have a nice little quick passing scheme here and you'll see there's that's man coverage and right there I made the mistake of not throwing it uh, past leading the ball upfield but let me show you uh, cover three now so this is this is gonna be like cover three Mabel um, you'll probably see this a lot but this is cover three Mabel I've got two deep halves on the field um, and then I have basically my my Mabel coverage which is my flats are gonna be hard flats and my curl flats are dropped at 20 to 25 yards um, to be able to take away a lot of these corner routes and crossing routes. What you'll notice on this play is this will get over that zone. You see how it gets over that Mabel coverage really, really well. So that's one of the beauties of this play is if they run cover three, you're still going to be able to torch it. You obviously have your your underneath smash route and things like that, um, or I'm sorry, your underneath hitch route to the tight end and things like that against this, but now you have like a big, 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 big play against this cover three. Now, one of the things that you're gonna notice, uh, and this is why I like to run this play to the wide side of the field, is if they run like cover three, like right there, what I did, and they have, um, and they have a deep third on their outside guy, that deep third will occasionally play the corner route. And so what you'll want to do in a situation like that is this is where your slot streak will really come in handy. You'll see here I can pass lead this to the right and easily get a big play against uh, cover three defenses that way. So that's an option that you have. Another thing that you could do uh, if you're facing a lot of like just straight up basic cover three, right, and you want to hit this corner route you can motion out Mike Evans to the outside and put him on a streak and basically this is gonna help just with the spacing of everything and that routes not gonna um, that that route to the corner is not gonna come down on that so hard he's gonna have to run vertical with the streak because that's his responsibility and so what that's gonna do is it's gonna it's gonna leave a lot of space for you to be able to hit this route to Chris Godwin. So again, just as a simple motion assignment and snap, go, and just let it get over the top right there, click on. And, and right there, I had a little bit of a bad pass lead, but basically once he gets over the drop, once he gets over the zone drop, um, I like to throw it to the outside. You know, you really don't want to throw this thing to the, you know, you don't really want to pass lead this up right into that corner. What you want to do is you want to try to get this out, but again, like right out there, that's really what we're looking for. Um, I forgot to motion that guy out. But when you motion out that, that streak, I think it helps it a little bit against cover three. Um, if they're invert, if they're running deep halves on that side, then you don't even have to worry about that. You can just run this as is, and this corner route will be wide open. But if they're not doing that, you know, this is you see how it's almost like a slant out and it just runs really, really sharp towards the sideline, right? 
there is where we're looking to hit it right there you see it's a tight window but it's a very effective window from this formation and part of this has to do with me being in the red zone um, or not necessarily in the red zone but kind of closer to the, that so while I'm responding the ball if you have not already joined our discord there's a link to that in the description discord is a great place for you to be able to connect with me but also to be able to connect with the rest of my community so I wanted to highlight the discord as well Okay, so this is cover three Mabel once again, and I just want to show this to you. Whoops, motion the wrong guy out, of course. Um, so again, you have this. This is going to give you a lot more space now to be able to throw this. When you motion him out, again, he's going to pull that outside third. So that outside third is going to go for, you know, run and run and run and run and run. So now you have something like that, and that's an absolute laser. That's probably like a 40 to 50 yard um, dot that you're going to be able to have in your disposal within this near close uh, flex formation and the beauty of all of it is they still haven't dealt with they still have not dealt with um, this route right here to your tight end you can playmaker this route I love to playmaker the route um, if you have a little bit better of a route running receiver or route running tight end like a Chris Cooley or a Taysom Hill and Mutt um, that's gonna be wide open but Anyways, guys, that's the near close flex smash play. I think it's one of the best plays from the West Coast playbook. And to be honest, you could even get your rollout corner on if you wanted to with this. Um, you could do something like this where, you know, again, if they're running some type of cover three, you could easily do this, right? You could basically do the rollout corner. So I'm going to, you know, essentially pick up any edge pressure with my, my slot. And then I'm just going to get out of here with escape artist and throw that throw that corner out if I wanted to. Um, you can do that. That's one of the one of the beauties of this playbook is you could easily run something like that with that because that specific corner out from Smash is really really sharp and it does a really good job of beating like cover two, cover four, cover three as long as you have that outside streak attached to it. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you haven't subscribed I would highly encourage you to do that I'd also encourage you to text me for the free schemes the other thing that I want to let you know about is our ebooks we have um, offensive and defensive ebooks for sale with my full offense my full defense uh, we have our New England guide out that just released this month and has over 300 formations or 300 pages in the book has over 36 formations broken down in depth for you um, so it's definitely a really good bang for your buck with over 10 hours of video content so if you want to pick up that ebook that link is in the description as well thank you guys so much for your time I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you on tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time